hi guys i am home now let's see if the camera will follow me there we go this is the better angle so i'm gonna open up the pastry box because i got i want you to see what i got um for my dad he he has a sweet tooth so and i know that he likes the pastries from the shop so like when i drove past it on the way home i was like i have to get him something from here and i got i got quite a bit so maybe i'll eat like one or two today so yeah i came home they're not my parents aren't home right now my sister isn't home either she told me that she'll be home but she's out eating dim sum right now without me Ugh, the audacity so yeah but let me show you what i got oh oh why are why are you not oh, this camera goodness gracious but like this is all everything that i got this everything here was like 30 dollars is that expensive 30 bu bucks for all this i feel like it is and it looks so good and i want to eat some right now but like i really shouldn't so yeah i feel like i should have gotten more of the cake stuff for my mom but i think that's a good assortment actually so yay so i'm gonna put this in the fridge now i hope there's room in the fridge usually there's not enough room in the fridge because there's just so much stuff here at home we even actually have two fridges not one two so yeah, I gotta find a spot for it. Ooh, I found a bag of rambutan. Rambutan? Rambutan? But I am quite hungry. I need to find something to eat. My mom made kanji for me. I, so I'll probably get a, like a bowl of that. But I also see like um, Vietnamese beet, beet soup. And I see like noodles. So I'm gonna whip something up really quickly and eat that before I go up to my room and like unpack just to pack again because i've worked tomorrow but um yeah so i heated up the kanji um it's really it's my mom all my mom made was like um this kanji with like dried scallop and then that's really all there is in it and then i just put some black pepper in it so i'm gonna eat that now in one of my previous vlog videos somebody made a comment on how like with my food i have a huge glass of milk right next to me guys I can drink a glass of milk with anything and everything. Like, it can be a burger, it can be hot, especially hot pot if it's spicy. Like, anything. Like, I love a good glass of milk. I can go through a whole gallon of milk in, within like three days if there is like nothing else in the fridge besides like milk and water. Like, I will choose milk over water like any day. So, yeah. Mm. And it's that. Sorry, and it's lactate milk too. It's not like your hood or your garlic farm. Like this is from the brand Lactate, so it's a little bit sweeter, which I like. I'm I feel like I'm a little bit lactose intolerant too, so it's just it just works for me. Like the fact that it's a little bit sweeter than regular milk it makes I just like it a little bit more. That's why I can drink a lot of it. So I'm gonna eat this. Maybe watch a video too on my phone, and then head upstairs and do a little bit of cleaning. My sister's gonna go home in a bit, and we're gonna go grocery shopping, just for like little snacks and whatnot. Um, I'm gonna probably buy a couple of things too to last me for the next three days while I'm like at work on site because I won't really be home. So yeah, um, yeah. Any other updates? Um, just tired overall. I need to take like some like Dayquil because I'm like my immune system's like really really bad right now. Not last night, but the night before, like I was getting chills at night. Like my whole body was sore, and I was like going get, i was getting chills out my body was like really hot at one point it got really cold like it was not it so um, yeah like thursday and friday i was at work for 11 hours on thursday 10 hours i think on friday and then tomorrow's also gonna be a long day i got a text well, like, last week from the client saying they're requesting us to stay late monday so i don't know what how late late is probably 10 or 11 hours again but yeah it's gonna be a long week before we get the break for thanksgiving um so i don't know there's really nothing much for me to vlog during those days but maybe i will during like my breaks and when i go in so just to get just so that you guys can see like how long i'm there maybe i don't know but i'm gonna eat now and then go upstairs clean up a bit unpack and pack go out to go grocery shopping i'll take you guys along with me yay and yeah all right see you guys when i'm finished eating bye hi guys so I got some packages while I was gone, so I'm just gonna do an unboxing video of the things that I have here. 
So the first thing I have here is this package. I believe that's from Sephora. I bought this probably during the Sephora sale. So, and honestly, I don't remember what I got. So I'm going to open this up to see what's in here. Oh, okay. The only thing I got was his retinol eye cream from the Inky List. I saw some good reviews on this. I have the one from ROC already. So I'll try this and... and See how that goes compared to that. And that came with two samples because I bought it online. I got two perfume samples, the Chanel one and the YSL one. So that is it for the first package. Okay, let's see what's the next package. <clears throat> yeah, my throat is still like pretty itchy. So I'm going to open up this next package to see what this is. I believe this is from Opalex. So... So right here, this is the Opalex Smooth Your Style Hair Kit. This was a gift from Opalex and um, yeah, I plan to do a TikTok for them since they gifted me this product. So I'll, yeah. So that is that. Thank you, Opalex. <laughs> I don't think anybody from Opalex is watching this, but thank you for the gift. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to try it. And so, yeah. I just want to see what it is again. This is the Smooth Your Style Hair Kit. So it comes with a hair perfector, a bond protector, a bond smoother, and a bonding oil. So my hair is damaged at the end at, at the end because I did dye it once upon a time. Um, and so I can't wait to try that and see if it helps my hair. So yeah. Back then when I dyed my hair, I used their shampoo and conditioner like for so long and it worked wonders on my hair <clears throat> olifex and carasase those two brands are like my favorite um brands if you have like damaged or dried hair i'm like dyeing your hair or bleaching your hair and i also love olifex's um purple dry shampoo no the purple shampoo when i also dyed my hair blonde so yeah that's a fun period of my life so that is that Alright, the next thing I got is another package from Medicube. So, I bought the Medicube H Booster, and then I tried it, and I loved it, and I also got... So, now I'm, I bought their ATS AirShot device, and I'm going to try this. This is supposed to help you with your pores. I have pores here, here, and here, and it's supposed to basically help you with your pores and give you better glowing skin. So, I'm really excited to try that out. And then it just came with like some samples. It came with a zero foam cleanser sample, their triple collagen toner, serum, and erasing cream sample, and last but not least, their mask. So I can't wait to try all of that. I did buy that from Medicube. The only thing that I did not buy was a gift from OPEX so far. So yeah, okay. Next up is I am subscribed to Ipsy. I subscribed to Ipsy a long time ago when I was like in high school or college, I think. And then while my friends and I were on vacation in Barcelona, we resubscribed just for fun to see how it went. Um, how Ipsy work is that, and this is not sponsored, is that like you get five samples every month and they send it to you and you can pick a sample. You can pick one sample, a one little guy, and then they ship you the rest out to you but for this month i didn't pick anything so everything in here is like random and i don't know what it is so let's open it up and see what's in here so the first thing i took out is this setting powder by by siate london setting powder i'll try this and see how this goes but my favorite setting powder of all time right now is the one from Charlotte Tillsbury, the Fall is Finished one, and the Huda Beauty one. Next up is the Skin Refiner Universal C. I'm, I'm assuming this is like a vitamin C serum from Beauty Stat, so I'll try that. Um, my favorite vitamin C or like the glowing or like brightening serum right now is from Cotta Clay. On the Vino Perfect one. And then next up I have here is this Estee Black Precision Liquid Liner. Like an eyeliner. So yeah, I'll use this. It's a liquid liner. Um, I'll use it. Doesn't matter which brand, I guess. The next one is Mary and May. This is an eye cream. An 
eye cream and it reduces dark circle in the eye contour and improve uneven skin tone oh my gosh i will try this so yeah this mary may brand there's korean like writing in the back so i don't know this is like a korean brand but i will try this i have problems with my under eyes like i have pretty dark circles and it's just like a genetic thing but if there's a product out there that will help, I will try it. So I'm excited. Out of all the items so far, I'm really excited to try this one from Mary and May. And the last thing here that I have is... I don't even know what brand this is. I can't read it because it's in cursive. This is the Rena Rebelled Mini Bold Lipstick Color in... Lip Color Stick in Divina. So... Yeah. So it's like... This is a nude lip, a nude pink lip cream. Oh, it's a nude lip pink. Okay, that intrigues me. I'm gonna open this up and try this on. Not try, maybe not try this on, but I just wanna look at it. Oh, so I opened it and this is the color. It's like this pretty pink color. Um, this is like a lip liner. Or... Okay. We can try this on camera. Ah, I think I got some on my teeth. So this is what it looks like on the hand. It's a really pretty pink color, not gonna lie. So, I don't know if it shows on camera, but uh, it's a pretty pink color. So, yeah. I'll try it. <laughs> but overall, these are all the... I items that I got from the Ipsy this month. Again, the most exciting thing that I'm excited to try is this Mary May. So, yeah. And then, last but not least is my Abercrombie order that I got recently. So, in a recent TikTok video of mine, I posted myself in this um, McLaren sweatshirt from Abercrombie. And I forgot how much I liked it because I keep wearing it, but like I forget get that there's more on their website. So I bought more sweaters and more sweaters and more sweaters. So I think in total I got four. And so I'll just kind of open them up and show you guys on camera. So this is the first one right here. This one is, it's just this McLaren Formula 1 team at the very front, on the front. But on the back, it has all of these Formula, um, the Formula 1 team here. So, this is how it looks like. The material is not too thick, but it will keep you in the winter, and, I'm, and I really like it. I got in a size extra small, and it's supposed to be oversized. And so, yeah, I, I love their... I like their McLaren sweatshirt. Their sweatshirt is just super comfortable. So I got one sweatshirt so far, and this one's a hoodie actually. And this is what it looks like. Again, just the one little simple thing with the McLaren from the one team logo on the front, and then the t and then this picture on the back. So yeah, do and then I believe there's two more sweatshirts. Wow, there's a lot of stuff to open. I am really trying to cut back on my spending, guys. Like, trust me. Uh, this one, the picture in the front. Image on the back. I will live in these sweaters. Like, I... I'll, like, show... I'll put a link to these in, like, in my bio or something. But I live in these sweaters. Or, like, the Abercrombie sweaters. The one I'm wearing right now is also from Abercrombie. My whole wardrobe is basically Abercrombie, and the reason why I like them so much is one, they have like a lot of basic fits. They don't, they're not too expensive, and I, I am short, so like I like how their pants have like a short version, so, and I don't need to hem it or anything like that. If I, if I went to like Aritzia and bought like a dress pants from them, I'm sorry, they're not crinkling, so my cat's walking around. But if I were to go, if I were to go to Aritzia and bought like a dress pant, I would need to get a hem, and like I just don't want to do that. So I'm really happy that. Abercrombie has like a short size so that Simba don't bite my wire so that I just don't need to get him and I love that okay this kid this kid right here is being annoying so please don't bite my wire he bit one of my charger my laptop charger from work like uh, he bit it and it snapped in two and while I was charging my laptop so I'm so surprised that, like he didn't die or get like electrocuted because like bro <laughs> like stop biting wires 
Like, he is such a brat. But I love him. I love him. Nemo downstairs, she's a lot calmer than he is. He's just... He's very stubborn. Once he has his mind on something, he will, like, not let it go. And this is just a black version of one of the early sweatshirts that I got. Again, logo in the front. And picture in the back. And it's super, super warm and comfortable. So, I'm going to be wearing this sweatshirt all winter long on top of my other sweatshirt that I have at Abercrombie. So, yeah. Wow, and that is all that I have for today in terms of product life. So I'm going to clean up and then I am going to unpack the pack. And then hopefully my sister will be home by then so we can go grocery shopping. So, see you when I see you next. Okay, bye. I cleaned up a bit. I didn't unpack my suitcase yet because my sister just got home. And so, that is Simba down there. Like, just crinkling the noises. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to get ready really quickly and then go. Um, I think we're going to go to Beach more today and maybe Trader Joe's. I don't know where we're going exactly. We're going somewhere. So, yeah. My throat is killing me. Okay, so I'm gonna moisturize my face really quickly. This is with the toucher, the water cream. Um, yeah. My throat is really killing me. I wonder if there's like day quill at home right now that I can take because I really, really need it. So, yeah. Also, I need to get my brows like done because they're getting quite bushy. <laughs> right now, so, uh, yeah, okay, oh, my throat, okay, that is done, moisturizer is on the face, next I'm gonna use this, um, YSL, like, balm, it's supposed to make your skin glowy, and I like using it in somewhat of, like, a primer, um, so, yeah, on these hopefully will glow because of it so like last time that i was home i used the house lab foundation and, and it was okay um but it was a little bit too much coverage for me at that time and today i'm not looking to get a real full coverage so i think today i'm gonna use the hourglass skin tint and but before I do that, of course, we need sunscreen. So I like using the unseen sunscreen when I use when I wear makeup because it acts also like a like a primer. Um, but I'm just thinking like, do I want to do that today, or do I want to use like sunscreen, like a different sunscreen? And this is the brand from Misha. Um, I got this house in K-Town in, in New York. And it was like $10. It was on sale, so like a really good price for this. But I forgot what the texture of it is. But I remember that it smelled good. So, yeah. So, it's, it, it's not unseen. It's like a white. I don't think... I wouldn't really, really call it a white cast. But I'm not aware of this next time. Just, ooh, sorry about that. I just use the unseen sunscreen, like always, because it's my favorite. And this is brand new, so. Ooh, that's a lot of sunscreen, okay. I'm just gonna use this guy, so. Yeah. I'm excited to go to H Mart because I've been craving soybean paste soup, and I'm not a cook. But each one does have them like made in like a pre-packaged thing from the brand Indigo, I think. And so I just literally take it out of the fridge, put it in a pot, and heat it up. It's like instant soup <laughs> from package. And I'm sure that's not like really good for you, but I'm just really not a cook. So I'm like, I hope they I hope they have that if I can buy it. So yeah. The only issue now is that I don't have a foundation brush to do my to put the skin tint on my face, and nor do I have another beauty blender. I mean, I have this guy, which is a new beauty blender, but I don't really want to open up open one right now. But I guess I kind of have to, huh? Okay. I am gonna be right back. I'm gonna wet this little little guy and try to find a foundation brush. I think I have one. 
somewhere else in my room or maybe i can use these brushes that i have here right now for foundation so yeah maybe this one can be a foundation brush i don't know i'm really out of brushes maybe i'll stop by ulta and buy another like foundation brush for me at home because the other one that i have right now is in like this makeup bag that i bring with me when i go so i'm gonna wet this first world than a new beauty blender like than a new sorry i think that was simba he has made like a really good sound but yeah anyway all right skin tint time i have no idea what i'm gonna use this to put on my face i guess i'll use one of those brushes and just a little dry recently even though like i moisturized the heck out of it because i've been using retinol and retinol retinol so yeah the one the, the product i'm using right now for retinol is from youth people and i see that myriad also has a retinol product and i really really want to try it i might buy it because right now it's black friday they're having a sale so yeah, I'm just gonna use this blender to put on skin tint and then the concealer. But since I don't have a brush right now, this is what I'm gonna use. This is probably not correct, but yeah. Anyway, back to the retinol thing. I do wanna try the Mirad Retinol product because um yeah, like it hopefully will prevent fine lines, which I'm trying to do. So yeah. Hmm, this is looking pretty nice. I feel like there's a lot of product on my beauty blender now, but overall, the skin tint from Hourglass is pretty nice. It's pretty light, again, just because it is a skin tint. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, next up is. I'm sniffling because I'm sick, but anyway, next up is the concealer. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, next up, concealer. I'm gonna let it bake there for a bit while I put on my eye makeup. Anyway, what else? What else? What else? What else? I am really excited for Thanksgiving, just so that, just because you know, Thanksgiving. Who's, who's not excited for Thanksgiving? If you're not, then you are a monster. But I'm really excited for Thanksgiving to just spend time with my family. Um, and yeah, um, we're, we're not going to do the traditional Thanksgiving with my family. We're going to do like a hot pot, um, thing. So I'm very excited about that. So right now I want to do my eye makeup and I don't have the, I don't have my ROM and the N D palette here with me right now. So I'm thinking of using either the Born This Way from Toothpaste Natural Palette. I also have this Huda Beauty palette. It's very pink, very pretty. Or just go for a very nude basic palette from Desi Cuke, I think. But I like to use this only when I go to work or whatnot. I like to be a little bit sparkly um, when I go out. So, yeah. Now I'm just looking for an eyeshadow brush because. Don't know where all my brushes went. I have it from Rare Beauty, and I honestly don't know where it went. And it shouldn't have gone far because it was here a while ago. But anyway, fine. I guess I'll have to find a different brush. I am so angry. I might just go to Ulta today too and just get like a couple of brushes and just leave them here. And then Black Friday's coming up, so I don't want to do that too. Um too early so yeah anyway i decided i'm gonna use the born this way palette by Too faced and i am gonna go in and maybe go for this pink color i'm, I'm lying i'm gonna go for the seashell one with the champagne glittery um pearl on top so that's what i'm gonna do i feel like i like pink a lot but 
thing just really does not look good on me. So, yeah. I think Simba wants to get out of my room right now, but he's probably just waiting for me to let him out. I don't hear him meowing too much just yet, so maybe I'll let him wait just a little bit longer. Yeah, he used to be a, a lot cleaner when he was a kitten, not anymore. He just, he just sees me as the owner of this room and he likes to go in my room. So that's the only time he would need me and like nothing more. So yeah. See, ah, my beauty blender. <laughs> it fell, but it's fine to clean here because it's just all carpeted, so that's fine. Five seconds old. Anyway, I'm gonna blend out that concealer that I had underneath my eye now. Blend, 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 blend. I hear him like running in the background. I don't know what he's doing, but he's playing with something. So, yeah. Blend, 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 blend. Oh, that's, I thought somebody was in my room, but it's just super. Do, 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 do. This is a very thick concealer, I feel like. Or I don't know if it's because I left it on for too long to like sit there, but it's a very thick concealer. It covers up really well and it doesn't really crease too much, I'd say. But it is a little bit hard to blend out. But I think it's just because I left it sitting there for a little bit too long. So yeah. There's like glitter here in the corner of my eye, and I don't, that's just too much glitter. Dab, 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 dab. Anyway, really excited for Thanksgiving coming up. Really excited for the holidays. I love this time of year because there's so much, so many days off because of the holiday. Like Thanksgiving, a month later, it's Christmas, and then it's New Year's. So it's just the best time of the year because the year's ending and you just get time off from work. Like, who wouldn't love that, right? Okay, next up, gonna pick that under eye. Gonna use a Huda Beauty powder to just like bake the under portion of my eye. Oh, yeah, see, see, he's meowing now. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's a little bit, a lot of powder. Ooh, not sure how I was supposed to do that, but it's working, I guess. This is not the right brush for it. But wow, this powder does smell like really good, not gonna lie. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, we'll just let it sit there. I don't know, maybe blend it out later. So, yeah. I never really wear makeup until this year like you guys are seeing so many uh, me doing make makeup videos like this is the most i've ever done and i just yeah like i've never really did it in the past and now i just like doing it a little bit more so that's that now i'm gonna go ahead and do contour i don't again i don't have the brush work i'm just really picking up any brush that i have and just go in with contour so yeah, and I'm just using the contour palette from Charlotte Tilbury. So it's very, I still stole this from my sister because she says she doesn't like use it. So, yeah. Sorry, this is a bronzer palette. This is not even a contour. But they're telling you, like, I, like TikTok now is telling you to go down with contour or bronzer because you want to, like, slim your face, like, this way, not like this. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm sure the girls who watched my video will understand because, I don't know, I clearly don't. So I'm just bronzing area of the face. And then next I'm gonna go in with blush. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys. And then we're gonna open up we're gonna open up the door for Simba because he's crying to get out of here. Okay, come on. Simba! Come on, you wanna go out? Go out, little kitty. Can you see him? There he is. Go. You want to go out, so go. See, the thing, the issue with him is that, like, he wants to go out. When you open the door, he doesn't go out. Which is kind of annoying. Which is really annoying. Watch, like, I'm gonna close the door. I'm gonna go in and do my blush. And he's gonna start, like, meowing, throwing a fit again. See? He's right here. 
So I don't think he wants to go out. I think he just wants attention. And I'm like giving him, him enough attention because I'm here doing my makeup. But honey, I will give you attention in a bit, okay? Anyway, let's hurry back and just finish it up so we can go, go, go. So I'm going to do my blush next. Um, yeah. I want to go in and use the Happy Blush from Rare Beauty. But the thing is that I can't find it here right now. And that's kind of unfortunate because I wanted to do that, like, um, that cold winter look for today. That was what I'm trying to go with. But I don't see it. And where could it be? I'm pretty sure I had it at one point. Um, but my two favorite one, my, my favorite one from Rare Beauty is Hope for sure. I have another big big one in Encourage, but I thought I had a small one in Happy. In Happy. But I do not see it. Like, I get it. This is all on me because my face is my, it's so messy in here right now. Like, my makeup area. And I don't need to clean it. I just I haven't gotten to it because I'm a little bit lazy. But like, who isn't lazy nowadays, right? Right? I'm sucked to myself at this point. That's unfortunate, because I really wanted to use it. And I don't know where it is. Um... Yeah. Okay, it's like 15 minutes already. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna hurry it up and go. Okay, fine. I guess we'll use hope today. Yeah, we'll use hope today. Because I can't find happy. Anyway, two dots on my temple. And that is that. Normally, I'll use my hands to blend it out. But, like, I really don't feel like doing that today. So, I'm going to be using blush to do so. So, yeah. Hmm. That's it. Blush, 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 blush. Maybe I should have done a pink blush because now my, I feel like my face is like champagne and like pink. And like, I don't really like that right now. So yeah. Okay, actually be right back. I'm gonna try to find, find something. Okay, I never really found that blush. I just wanted to find it for my sake. I just couldn't find it, but anyway. I found it another day, but I did blend out the two sides of my blush. Now I'm gonna go in with the pink asm again on my temple. This is just to make the blush a little bit more dewier. Um yeah i love these realistic um sunday videos because i just get to be me <laughs> and then just talk to myself all day and i already do that normally so why not just put a camera here now so yeah that is it and then i'm gonna go a little bit over my nose okay now for highlight try tillsbury in spotlight this guy is so messy because i use it so much but yeah i don't know dot my nose dot here dot here dot here dot here dot here um i'm going to use a little brush because i had Ooh, there's crows outside i wonder what that is but i just don't want to use my my hand today so yeah This is really probably not how you do it, but this is how I'm doing it for today. See, he's meowing again. He's meowing again. I'm like stressing out low key because I feel like this is taking too long to do right now. And I just want to hurry up and move on to the next clip of the vlog. But yeah, okay, basically that is done. The last thing I'm gonna do is just powder my entire face. With a powder, um, Charlotte Tillsbury. I thought I bought another one of these um, during the Sephora sale. I probably did. I just don't know where it went. So, yeah. Maybe I didn't. I have no idea. I thought I did. Piss? Yeah? How are you? Good. I'm doing my makeup and then we can go. Is this mine? Probably. Okay, I just went into my room without knocking. Like, that really, really bugs me. Um, anyway, I'm gonna curl my lashes now and then change and head out. My cat's really annoying. He's also 
meowing and begging for attention and I promise I'll give attention to him very very soon so yeah okay my sister just interrupted the vlog but I just need like 20 minutes okay 20 minutes? I think go, I'll right. shower and blow dry my hands. I think I'll go. Alright, I'm just finishing up my makeup. I curled my lashes as well. I cut the vlog because she was in here, but I curled my lashes. Now I'm gonna go in with a setting spray. I took the Charlotte Silver. Do I have it around here? But anyway, since I don't, I'm not gonna go in with this Misha Glam. This is a this is a glow skin balm to go miss, so. I do like it because I look like an egg afterwards. Like I look very shiny with it afterwards, so I really love this guy. Next time I go to New York, I need to buy one more of this and just stock it up. But anyway, done with the makeup. We have to go change. This is just gonna take, gonna take like 20 minutes to get ready. And I would go change. I probably won't do anything with my hair because I'm way too lazy. But maybe I'll pack and unpack while she gets ready and then we'll head out. So yeah, my hair is a mess. It's fine. Is a bang or the bang? My bangs have not been banging for quite some time now, and it's just, it is what it is. And so, yeah. I feel like the makeup looks better now in this lighting. I didn't even do my brows, but it's fine. Like I said, it's quite bushy. And at this point, I don't care. I gotta do it. Maybe I'll do it tonight. I usually ask my mom to help me do it, but yeah. All right. But let's talk about the living situation just a bit so i do live at home with my family Ooh, some love. i do live at home with my family and that consists of my mom my dad and my sister um so yeah a, a couple months ago i was looking to move out on my own get a small condo and just before i switched jobs i, I was working quite far away from home it took me like an hour to go there in the morning an hour to come back at night and i just wanted to live closer to work but lo and behold i did get another job and it ended up being remote which is the job that I have right now and I didn't need to go out move out anymore and so I took that money that I was gonna buy that condo with and I um put it into like an investment property like a family investment property so that's where the money went so I do want to move out maybe next year um yeah I know that I'm a little bit old to be living at home but that's just it's just nice to kind of save money and because I'm not really home a lot too, so yeah, it's just this is just how things are right now. My sister does want to move out. I do want to move out, but kind of broke again because I took that money and put it into an like, investment home, um, and that home just turned into like an Airbnb. So that's where that is at. So next year, I'm gonna be saving money. I'm gonna be frugal, I'm not try to buy anything and everything. So and then hopefully get my own place and yeah but that's far away from now like if anything that's the end of next year or the year after so it's, it's a far away plan but yeah um but anyway while we wait for my sister i'm gonna clean up a bit so when we head out i'll see you guys again so bye okay guys we are at h mart right now and the first thing that i picked up was this assorted kimbap thing <laughs> my sister just waiting for me. I didn't get I didn't take you guys through Trader Joe because it was just a mess. It was so busy I'm in there. This. Stop. Gatekeeping. Okay. There's kimchi stew here. They don't have the soybean paste though that I wanted. I like the one in the packets more, believe it or not. Oh really? Okay, yeah. Then we can go get those ones. Can you push the cart? Can you push the cart? No. Please. Do you want anything else over here? Do you want anything else over here for like fun John? I got one assorted of kimbap. You want one more or do you want to keep one? Oh, okay. This chicken pasta lunch ball. Looks like a ton of food items here, actually. There's like a fish crab stick. Too. Okay, I'm not that hungry. Well, I am hungry, but I don't, I'm not craving any of these items, so yeah. I'm gonna put towards the best ice cream ever. The corn ice cream? That's I have not tried it. I don't think I'll like it. I feel like I got that before, but I don't know. Maybe you like it that much. Let's go. The 
thing that she was trying to gatekeep here, guys, is this crunchy garlic thing that at each part. And I like eating it with the kimbap. And what do you like eating it with? I like eating it with the kimbap. Did I like get anything? Okay. Let's go get the food and let's go home because I'm tired. I still have to pack for tomorrow. Wait, I want a zucchini. Never mind. I get a zucchini other day. So basically, I'm just looking for this dude in a packet thing, buy it, and then go home. This is all we're really here for. The only reason why I went to Trade Show earlier. Go get it. The only reason why we're at Trader Joe earlier was because we wanted this chip that we thought Remy from Remy is eating. It was like this pizza roll puff thing that but they're out of stock and they told us that they will be out of stock until late January. So that was like kind of unfortunate. So this feels so weird. I feel like I'm being judged by all the Asian just filming myself. But anyway. Okay. Oh, they have a nighttime blue soup again. I was obsessed with this at one point. I'm getting this. Like, when I'm craving food at night, this is the thing I'll grab for. If the nighttime blue on noodles. The thing that I really like is this soybean paste soup right here. And there's only like one per bag, so I'm gonna get a couple because this is what I'm really obsessed with. The soybean paste soup. And that's the only thing that I came here for. What soybean drink? What is that? Can you get me some soup? How come yours comes with two servings? Mine only comes with one. Mine comes with one. It's just two servings. No, two servings, that's for two people. Oh. oh. Get me another one. This is the only thing we're really here for. How much is, like, how, when does it expire? Oh. It expires in, like, January. Bro. I'm gonna get, like, five of these. I'll just leave them in the fridge when I go home. Okay. I think I'm all set now. Those are the only thing I really came here for. I just really like the kimchi stew with tofu. But it's just too much work for me, so I'm not going to do that. And it comes with tofu already, so I, I'm really too lazy to buy like, a tofu separately and put it into the bag. Or into the soup. So yeah, I, mean, I don't know where she went. There's soy drink, sweetened soy drink. I kind of want it, but it expires in a couple of days. Bro, did she look at the expiration date? It expires in like five days, so she better drink that as fast as she can. Okay. Guys, that packet of grape right there is $19.99. I'm kind of tempted. But I won't. All right, I'm gonna go find her and then film because this is just awkward me filming by myself. Okay, bye. All right, sorry guys, that vlog got cut off because I felt quite sick after going to Trader Show with my sister. So I kind of ended it there and it got cut short. But I promise I'll do a better job in the next vlog or in the next couple of vlogs. So thanks for watching again. Bye.